Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my Autobahn Police Simulator. Uh, let's play. We are today in the main menu and you might wonder why the heck are we in the main menu? What's wrong with you, Alec? Well, nothing is really wrong with you. I, uh, well, wrong with me. I wanted to show you guys something and that is the options. Um, a update hit the other day and this update, uh, yeah, well, I haven't tried it since. But uh, just from what I've seen in the change log is updated driving physics. So I'm rather excited to try that out. And also there were options or there were updates in the options. Options. Sound controls. So input mode, keyboard gamepad or steering wheel. Uh, that is new now. And if we go then the gamepad you can see here my Logitech G27 is uh, already recognized and so now I can just simply bound this all as I want to my uh, to my steering wheel so that's nice because before um, there was well there was several problems with this whole thing and those problems are no longer a uh, well no longer relevant uh, because they fixed all that stuff. So now I can just go ahead here and bound throttle, throttle, brake, to brake, turn up, turn down, run, use. All this I don't need. Left indicator, uh, back. Left indicator, right turn indicator. And as you can see, my paddles are backwards just because of the way my wheel is right now. Steer left. Steer right. Cross sketch turn. No, 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 no. Blue light. Yes. Always does that. Siren. And uh, that shall be it. And with that, uh, yeah, that showed you how to set up your steering wheel. I am now going back into the campaign and I will see you guys to the beginning of our next shift. And here we are, welcome to today's shift. Your shift starts, your objective is five accidents. We are in a marked patrol car, as you can see. So let's get right into it. We're not gonna waste any more time. We have uh, seven hours to get all our tasks done, which should be easily doable. Um, get in there. And we're going to be ready in a car. Radio status. Take over. And uh, go on to get the car going. Oh, maybe we should turn the handbrake off too. Okay, this definitely is different. Oh, wow. Okay, I see how it is. So this is a little bit weird because um, what's happening here is... Oh, wow. This is very weird. Um, Because it, it... When you use your wheel, the vehicle or the, the wheel will center automatically this is not the case you have to actually actively steer into the other direction to make sure that uh, the, the vehicle will steer in the right direction now this is weird and un whoa hello
It is in a weird way and is more stable than we are used to. That dude is really start to get to me. Well, I guess it does work. Uh, it's just very slow in the reaction compared to what I'm used to. It, it's in a weird way, it feels more direct. Um, yeah, it's definitely easier to steer, which is interesting. I, I did not think that would be the case, but. But anyways, guys, uh, I will be with you here once we arrive at the scene. Oh yeah, the oh, uh, steering is a complete different animal now. And it looks like we are coming up here to the, to the um, accident side. And what do we have here? Look, it's a crash between two. Um, yeah, it looks like a crash between two commercial vehicles. So let's see. Got to close off the autobahn, of course. Is usually. Oh, yeah, come on. So everybody has apparently the same horn. Okay, we got that done. Oh. So let's see, let's start drawing sketches. <laughs> there's a, there's an empty uh, beer crate, that's interesting. So we have one vehicle here, and apparently The Bellamy brothers hit each other. Okay, well then, let's go through the motions. Hello, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. And alcohol today. No. Good, good. Drugs. Never ever. All right. Cause of a woman. Can you tell me what happened? That van I expected to be much faster. Completely underestimated speed. It was probably too fast when I tried to overtake it. Oh my! How I'm supposed to tell the insurance company about this? Your insurance company is going to be the least of your problems. You better find a good explanation for the judge. That's very reassuring for the dude. Very reassuring. Okay, so the test was negative. Alcohol test. It's uh, da, 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 zero. Very good. So let's look at his documents. Okay. Pro QV. So that's that's correct. Gamma Yan. BCE. Perfect. Look at his ID. That seems to check out as well. And we go ahead and talk to that other gentleman. 
Ja, ja, ja. Äh, ich habe nicht Alkohol. No, that's good. Uh, drugs. No, never ever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's run an alcohol test and a drug test. So no alcohol, no drugs probably either. All right. Course of events. I just want to overtake that truck. They look a lot less threatening without the trailers right beside you on the road. Otherwise, I wouldn't try. Hell, the truck hit me right. Probably be worse with a trailer. Blah. Good luck didn't have one. Wow, that's some... Some quality English right there. Okay. Which is fine. B and C is okay. Uh, with the C class, he can uh, drive a commercial vehicle. However, he cannot drive a trailer. Or he can haul a trailer, but I do believe the trailer can't be over seven and a half tons. If I'm, com if I'm not completely mistaken. But I'm pretty sure you guys will correct me if I was wrong. I'm not concerned about that at all. Okay, let's let's get going here. There we go. Okay, now we gotta bring this stuff to the side. Oh wait, then one more thing somewhere that has to be. S oh, that one. Okay, I almost missed that. Well, that was good. I really wish they would stop honking back there because that doesn't make it go any faster. The only thing it does is it... It annoys me and then I'm an annoyed cop on the road. Do you really want that? Okay. We can clear the scene now. We are going to do. Yes. 100%. Blah, 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 blah. Can you please get into the vehicle? Thank you very much. Alright. And off we go. And apparently we have a damaged vehicle on the A22. So we are going there now. And as usually guys, I will be back here right away with you once we arrive at the scene. And we are coming up here on the accident scene. As you can see. Single vehicle accident. So this is going to be rather quick. On this one, we don't need to uh, close the highway. Just our vehicle standing there is enough. As you can see, they are all are nicely pulling over. Hopefully nobody hits me. That would be rather unfortunate. But you know what they say. So somebody apparently lost their washer. That's <laughs> very interesting. Uh, piece of equipment to lose just like that all right the usual honestly just because he hit a washer I would usually forego the whole alcohol thing but 
if we do that, then we lose out on uh, a lot of. Well, we lose out on on, on a lot of uh, points. So obviously, we can't do that. Probably guess what happened? I just drove into a washing machine. A washing machine right on the highway. Can it get more any, any more crazy? Well, I'm sorry that you had to experience this firsthand. But almost anything can fall off a van. Transporting a washing machine is not that unusual, is it? No, it's not. But the washing machine on the highway, ah, it's kind of unusual. Let's do an alcohol test then. And now document. Very good, so we can leave let him go. Now we're just gonna take the motion machine and carry it off the highway like a man. Or not. Apparently the washing machine is not yet carried. We just carry this one piece of equipment here. And with that, this call is already fulfilled. This was our second accident. We need only three more at this point. How oh, close that darn. Ah, uh, it's the kid accident at first. Well, I guess we could have placed the thing after. But okay, well, too late now. Stolen vehicle detected on the A20.